Okay guys, we'll start off this haul with the Xiaomi Mi 2. This is another selfie drone. It's uh, kind of a competitor to the uh, Rise Tello. And uh, it looks like it's, this is what it looks like. It just looks like it's come with the drone. There's no controller. Obviously it's Wi-Fi PV to your phone. And here's just a quick look at the specs on the bottom. Uh, 920 million power LiPo, 88 grams, and the rest is in Chinese, and I have no idea what that means. So here's what the drone looks like. Uh, there's again some more specs here on the inside. Yeah, it looks like there's some documentation here. This is maybe a quick start guide, but again, everything's in Chinese. Uh, perhaps they'll come up with an English version later. I think that's what Xiaomi usually does with their drones, is they send out everything in Chinese first, and then they come out with English later. I have a funny feeling that Apple will also be in Chinese as well. So, this is going to be one of those things I'll have to try and figure out. Uh, it looks like you get some prop guards if you want to add those. And this appears to be the battery. It's an interesting shape. And we get a USB cable for charging, and you get some props. Okay, so just a little look at the drone before I do the review. Looks like it has that 8.5mm motor, it's got a camera in the front. I believe it has some optical avoidance sensors, like I think that's a sensor in the front. Or right, that's the front here, and then there's one in the back. And you got optical flow on the bottom, it's got altitude hold, all the typical stuff from a selfie drone. Pretty big uh, battery though, so it should have decent flight times. Uh, yeah, I'll have uh, this put together and hopefully figure out how it works and I'll have a review on this pretty soon. Okay, I got some uh, new ESCs from Nidisi. These are some 40 amp 32 bit ESCs. Okay, so here's what it looks like. Uh, you know, pretty basic ESC here. Uh, BL Holly 32, obviously, and it does have, looks like it has a current sensor there, so there probably is some way to get telemetry out of here. And I'm not 100% sure, but it's possibly this solder pad here. But I'll uh, investigate that, and I'm going to put this into probably my Chameleon clone frame, along with the HDLRC on one board, and put this on the arms. And this should be pretty good EC for pretty much any kind of motor at 40 amps. This should be plenty good, and it obviously will do up to 6S, so uh, should be should fit just about any any type of motor out there. Okay, I got in the new Beta FPV Beta 65S Lite. This is a tiny whoop uh, based on the Eachine E011. It's a flight controller that has that silverware firmware flash to it, so it can do self-level mode and acro mode, but instead of you having to buy the Eachine E011 and uh, buy the tools to flash it, they actually have a flight controller that comes with it pre-flashed and uh, uses the Bang, to uh, Bang Toys protocol, so you do need a controller with that, or like a deviation uh, TX uh, radio, uh, or like one of the jumper radios to actually connect to this. Uh, but I can see it's fully assembled and it does come with the FPV system camera and video transmitter already installed. So there it is, and uh, I, like the, I definitely like the blue color here with the white um, canopy, the regular um, ones with the uh, beta flight, flight controllers, they come with the white uh, frames with the blue canopy. So I like the reversal and the white props here. And of course it comes with the uh, 7x16 motors, uh, more better than the 6mm motors. And they do include one uh, high volt battery. Anyway, I'll have a, a full review on this coming up pretty soon. Should be pretty interesting to fly this run and compare it to how it flies to some of the uh, Betaflight flight controllers. And speaking of Betaflight flight controllers, this is an, the newer uh, B-Core V2 with the FreeSky uh, D16 receiver on there. So this is a basically Betaflight uh, tiny whip flight, flight controller with the Betaflight OSD. And uh, the receiver on here does send telemetry back to your radio, including RSSI. Okay, so here's just a quick look at the board. And you get the three battery connectors available to you and the screws and the uh, rubber dampening mounts. And this pretty much looks the same as the original... Uh, B Core V2. The, obviously, the only thing I think is different is the receiver and the capabilities of the receiver. And of course, this has the Betaflight OSD there. Um, but it looks pretty much the same. The USB port coming out the bottom as before. So I'll put a, a card in the corner to the original uh, B Core V2 review. It's probably going to be about the same. I'll just put this into uh, probably replace the original uh, B, B Core V2 and the other one. And I will fly it around and I'll get some flight, flight footage for you guys on this board. Okay, so I got in the new uh, Runcam Micro Swift. This is the new Micro Swift 3. I think this is the one with the bigger lens. This one here is the 2.3 millimeter lens version. Okay, so just a quick look at it. Uh, you can see here it's got the much larger M12 lens. So uh, it's going to be bigger, but you're going to have a 
a little bit better image quality with a bigger lens, of course, and the same 19 by 19 size on the back here. So it looks like they've probably got the same sensor, 600 TV line sensor, same size, just that they have a new case, bigger lens. So we'll see what that looks like. Um, I also have the 2.1 millimeter lens version coming as well. And we'll do reviews and get uh, some DVR footage for you guys to see what this uh, image quality looks like compared to the old one. Okay, I got another uh, three inch micro frame in here. It's, the, uh, it's called the Fly Fox number no. five missile 135 millimeter. Basically it's like, uh, it's, like it's a true X frame. Uh, it's for three inch motors. It's got the nine millimeter and 12 millimeter hole pattern. I believe this is an upgraded version of the Froggy 135 that I reviewed a while back, several months ago. I think they, they changed the design slightly, a different cage here so that you can spin three inch props. The other one you really couldn't do three inch props. So uh, you'd have to trim it down or only certain ones would work. Uh, this one will definitely work with 3 inch props and you can go with bigger motors. I think that they've increased uh, the thickness of the bottom plate. I think it's now 3 millimeters. But I'll do a review on this one and maybe probably do a build as well and see how this, goes, how this thing flies. Okay, got a bunch more stuff here from Banggood. Uh, this is a frame kit from SPC Maker. It's the one for the X90. So they do sell this as a... Uh, I guess they call it a bind and fly, it comes with a receiver. Uh, but I decided to try out the frame kit, see the edges are already painted. Because uh, I think that I could probably build a little bit in more interesting build than uh, the ready to fly version. So it's only like 20 bucks for this. Uh, so I went ahead and bought this and we'll see uh, what my build looks like. I think I will probably have this out in probably about two weeks. Okay, so I picked up a uh, real ACC triple feed patch antenna here. This is the mini version. I have the full size version, and this is supposed to be, I think, about half the size and half the weight. So here's what it looks like, and yeah, it's about half the size, I say, in terms of the disc. And inclu this includes the uh, the attenuator, so you can switch between left and right handed polarization, and includes the extension here for your goggles. So I'll have a video on this, and, and we'll see if the uh, reception is any better or worse than the full size version. Okay, so I have a uh, Fly Sky receiver here from iRange X here, and if you, if you remember a while back, I did a review on the FLIT receiver. It's a Fly Sky telemetry receiver. This is, I think, basically a shrunken down version of that, slightly different uh, with only a single little antenna here, and it comes with a little connector here for uh, connection to your flight controller. Uh, so, so this should have. Um, the two-way protocol with telemetry back to the radio, but I'm gonna give that a test and see. This should be a little better for your micro size, like say two inch builds where you don't need the giant antennas, the two diverse antennas, uh, but you do want the telemetry in case you want like things like battery voltage back to uh, your our transmitter. Okay, so I picked up this uh, three inch frame kit here. It's the Land 150. It's 150 millimeters motor to motor. Interesting looking frame for three inch props and it looks like it's got the whole pattern for the nine millimeter and 12 millimeter motors and interestingly it comes with a file so apparently you could use that to uh, file down the edges if you feel that they're too sharp but uh probably have something on this it doesn't seem like it's too heavy probably going to go with maybe some 1304 1404 motors maybe some 1306 perhaps on this one um, we'll see if you guys have any suggestions, if you're interested in this build, let me know in the comments below. Okay, so I picked up one of these um, all-in-one flight controller and video transmitter uh, boards here. It's a 30 by 30 board, and it's F4 OSD and up to a 600 milliwatt video transmitter. And here's just a quick look at what the board looks like. Obviously, you got your flight controller plus your video transmitter MMCX connector for your pigtail. That's also included. So you get a micro SD card slot for a black box and a lot of... Uh, little micro connectors here for various things like probably like your receiver etc. I'll uh, have a video on this coming up pretty soon. It's pretty reasonably priced I believe. It's uh, under $40 for both of the, I guess obviously one board, video transmitter and flight controller combo. Okay so this is requested by a lot of people for me to take a look at these new racer star motors. They're called the SPROG Sprog X and I think that there's actually, uh, let's see, there's a 2205 and a 2207. I believe there might be a 2306 as well. But I just wanted to see what these were like, so I went ahead and picked these up. They do come in a set of five, and, and they're in these nice boxes. Okay, so here's just a quick look at the motor. Uh, looks like we got some single strand wire there. 
Um, yeah, nothing too much to write home about in terms of these motors. Pretty basic motors. Not exactly sure what the performance is like. Bearings seem pretty smooth. And you have, uh, well, it doesn't look like a whole lot of motor wire here. It looks like about 80 millimeters of motor wire. So it should be okay for most 5 inch builds. And in, in case you guys are wondering what the KV is, this is a 2207-2400 KV. Okay, so I picked up another one of these uh, King Kong uh, brush, brushless whoops here. This is actually the one that I was missing. I had the ET100 and the ET125. So one that's a little bit smaller than this one, and the one that's a little bit bigger than this one. This is the 115, so it uses the uh, 2.3 inch props. So here's a quick look at it. You know, it comes with the 1104 7500 KV motors on the 2.3 inch prop and the 125, ET125 has the same motor on the 2.8 inch prop so it's quite a bit larger. So if you still want to fly this outdoors but have smaller gaps you want to go through, this is going to be a, a, a nice compromise. Obviously if you want more performance and you want to get the, the bigger prop with uh, the ET125. But this is one I wanted to try out because I wanted to fly this outdoors a little bit more acrobatic ability and power. I think this might just do the trick. And this one comes with a GNB, it looks like a 2S 550 uh, milliamp hour with a JSD connector. Okay, so here's another one that was highly requested. A lot of you guys wanted to see the uh, 200 GT from King Kong. This is basically a FPV egg uh, center body here, uh, basically all micro components here in the middle, but 5 inch arms and eight, these are 1806 motors. So this doesn't look like it comes with any batteries and it looks like this one also doesn't come with a receiver, so you do have to add a receiver to this. And this one does come with the 1806 uh, 2500 kV motors. It's supposed to be like an ultra light uh, 5 inch and it's supposed to have very long flight times. Uh, I've heard up, upwards of 10 minutes or so on say like a 1300 4S. Got an XC60 back here. But you can see this is basically the same FPV egg that was on the other FPV eggs. The uh, 2.5 inch and 2. Point, I think the 3 inch front that I had. So they just basically have uh, five inch arms in here, so you need five inch props. And I think this bottom plate here, single bottom, single bottom plate here, uh, unibody is pretty thick. I think it's like four millimeters, so it should hold up to a lot of abuse. Okay, so I just picked up the uh, new Viper goggles from FXT. And uh, you can see here this design is a sort of box style goggle, a little bit, a little bit more compact with some mirrors and a little monitor here. Anyway, it comes in this nice case, comes with a bunch of accessories here. I'm not going to pull everything out here, but the basically the the main uh, component of the system is this monitor. And this is actually one that I've actually already done a review on. It looks like this like, slightly modified a little bit, but it looks like it still has the micro USB port in the bottom, controller joystick on the back here, but I think it's largely the same diversity receiver, diversity antennas, and uh, a built-in DVR with a micro SD card slot here on the side. But I'll have a full review on this coming soon. Obviously you want to give it a try, uh, see how it feels, and uh, see how it performs before I do the review. Okay, got another uh, micro frame here. This is actually uh, QAVR clone again, uh, but this is a 125 millimeter size. Uh, top mounted battery and this is designed for two and a half inch props and it looks like the motor mount hole here is just for the nine millimeter hole pattern so you can't put the bigger motors on there uh, with the 12 millimeter hole pattern so uh, we're going to be limited to like the 110X style motors probably going to uh, put an 1106 type motor on here for two and a half inch props that are probably pretty good for this so I'll have a uh, video on this coming up soon. Okay, so a quick look at this. this is another uh, three inch frame from Nidisi. It's the XF3. Um, yeah, I think this comes as uh, separate arms and everything like that. So, um, yeah, that's why everything's in a little bag here. You can't see the arms. But yeah, I'll have a video on this frame and probably do a quick build on this uh, coming up soon. Okay, so I got another uh, five inch drone here from Eris, uh, Eris Hobby. And they're calling this one the X210S. It looks like it's a bind and fly, so it probably has a receiver. Okay, we got some props here. It looks like uh, some sort of Dow Cyclone prop here. Got some accessories. Yeah, okay, USB cable, battery strap, an extra case for the run cam. Uh, looks like we got the, the, the looks like the Swift 2. It's a full size camera. Okay, in the bottom here looks like we got some documentation, some paperwork, maybe a quick user guide here, a quick start guide perhaps. 
Okay, here's a uh, quick look at the drone itself. Looks like it's a slightly stretched X. Um, we have some 2206 motors on here, 2450 kV. They kind of look like the Emacs light spec motors, and that they're, they're, other than that, than that they, they're unbranded, they're branded Aris. They just seem to be fairly smooth. You got 4 in 1 ESC, uh, F4 flight controller, and you got your video transmitter there, and XM like an XM Plus receiver perhaps. Yeah, you got XM Plus, you got two diversity antennas here. And we have the Fox here, lollipop antenna in the back. So we're gonna have some pretty good video transmission with the omnidirectional antenna. Looks like we have a bottom mounted battery. Got some foam on the bottom already. Battery strap on here already. So it should be fairly easy to get this up in the air. Just bind up the receiver and we'll go and fly it.